Welcome to Bed Crime Stories Podcast. I'm your host, T, and I wanted to bring you an update on the case out of Okamulgee, Oklahoma. We're learning more about this really horrific crime where four male friends went missing after a nighttime bike ride. The four men were reported missing on Monday, October 10th, after heading out on a bike ride at 8 p.m. the previous night. Police learned that the four men were planning to commit a crime when they went missing, and a witness told investigators that they'd been invited to join the men in the crime, but had backed out. This past Friday night, four male bodies were found in the Deep Fork River, and this morning, Ulk Mulgi Police Chief Joe Prentice confirmed that the bodies are those of the four friends, Mark Chastain, Billy Chastain, Mike Sparks, and Alex Stevens. All four men were shot. Note that the men were found in the opposite direction of where Mark Chastain's cell phone data had showed they were. Police are saying 67-year-old Joe Kennedy, the owner of a salvage yard that I believe is called ANA Auto Salvage, I saw his name associated with that business, he is a person of interest in the investigation. The police searched Kennedy's salvage yard last week, but they didn't find any evidence. They did, however, locate evidence that a crime had occurred on a neighboring property, namely blood evidence. When the police spoke to Joe Kennedy last week, he was cooperative. But this past Saturday, Kennedy was reported missing, so now the search is on to locate him. He was last known to be driving a blue PT Cruiser with license plate LSA245, but that blue PT Cruiser has been located and is currently in police custody. It was found abandoned behind a business in Morris, Oklahoma. But we don't know where Joe Kennedy is, and he's still at large. Now, from what I can see, he has a rather long criminal history. Most of the charges were not for serious things. They were mostly for speeding, failure to pay taxes, failure to have insurance, things like that. However, there were two felony charges that I believe are belonging to Joseph Lloyd Kennedy. One was attempting to receive stolen property, and the other one, the more serious one, is for assault and battery with a dangerous weapon. Now, from what I can see, Kennedy has been working in the salvage industry for many years. It looks like he started as a truck driver and then perhaps went on to become a wrecker, and then eventually he became the owner of the ANA Auto Salvage. The police are asking that if you see Joe Kennedy or have any other information about this case, please call the Okamulgee Police Department at 918-756-3511. Now, even though these four friends were said to be allegedly headed out that night on the bike ride to commit a crime, that's all allegedly, we don't know that for sure, And no matter what they were up to, they certainly did not deserve to lose their lives and end up in that river in the condition they did. Please don't shame the families. Please have nothing but prayers for them. They're going through a horrible time. Not only are they grieving, but they're going to have to process the details of this crime. On your way out, please do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Until the next time on Bed Crime Stories.